camp many years ago. I was the Christian education director this particular year, and I had this uh, program that uh, uh, this uh, experience we had. And what I did basically was take the kids into the woods, and I, I got them to uh, talk to trees and write down on a piece of paper what the tree would be saying to them. In other words, you're looking at this uh, essentially this empty space and you're finding your own thoughts you're discovering your own thoughts and learning about yourself one kid however this kid was not a well balanced kid what he did was he began to scream at the tree why because the tree wasn't talking back to him he assumed for some particular reason or another the tree was literally supposed to talk this is not good and you can look at that kid and think to yourself what a dumb little child or you can look potentially at the same child and say to yourself what can I learn from this situation and what I learned from this situation really is irrelevant to this talk however you get my point there is something to be learned in every situation in other words everyone is your Zen master everyone is your Zen master every experience is your Zen master life is simply there in every respect for you to learn from how does this happen firstly there's a person or an event or whatever secondly you are there in prayer what is prayer is it a list to God no I don't think so and I hope you do not have that idea prayer is responding to things in humility in love and a desire to learn anything can be prayer if you want it to be essentially anything now I, I did a, a talk very recently called uh, masturbation as a form of prayer or some reasonable facsimile. Now the, the dynamic there is when you masturbate you are thinking about things and those things mean something. Now a lot of people when they masturbate they just pretend those thoughts never happened or whatever but those thoughts are telling you they may not even be about sex quite often they are not. Those thoughts are can teach you and, and help you to become a more whole person. It's not only sexually, but in every respect. So there's a person or an event, you are there in prayer, you see what others don't see, most people are not gonna see a whole lot. Fourthly, you apply it to your life, in other words, you grow, and then fifthly, you move on to the next event. Hopefully your events begin to be very diversified, fact of the matter is most people's lives are going around in the same circle. It's the same thing, the same event, same person, just a different face or whatever. Do not do this. Grow, learn. Live your life like it's a straight line as opposed to the same little circle going around and around and around. Life is the real university. I wrote this statement a couple days ago and the statement was, I went to university and I learned how to think. And I went to Bible college and I learned how horrible it is when people do not think. Life is there to teach you. Have you ever played the game of centipede? I used to play this with a friend of mine back in the 80s. What is the game of centipede? Well, you shoot all these things and every time you shoot all these insects coming at you uh, down this screen, uh, you don't really shoot them. It's a game, right? It's a computer game. Once you get rid of that screen, it gets harder the next screen. Then the next screen is harder. Well, this is sometimes the way life unfolds. Once you learn a lesson, quite often the next lesson you have to learn is harder. But it really doesn't matter because you are now equipped to, to deal with that lesson as opposed to the game of Centipede where it just got harder and harder until I looked like an idiot. What am I trying to say here? I am trying to say that everyone and everything is there to teach you. Life should be exciting, uh, beautiful, wonderful, and you should grow. Bruce Coburn, one of my favorite uh, singer-songwriters, had a song in 1979. You get bigger as you grow, nobody told me, I just know. This is the Love Guru. Have a good day.